All right. The best Zelda game ever made. After Zelda 2, of course. Link's Crossbow Training. Uh, here with Darian, who you have said, is, this is one of, if not your favorite Zelda game. Oh yeah, I love it. And uh, may have had some technical difficulties before this, but we figured it out. It, it was it was batteries. I was using shitty batteries in my Wii mode. Yeah. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of things that can go wrong in this game. Uh, they wanted uh, they wanted you to use the the Wii Zap or the plastic doohickey, but you said you grew up without that and played this game. Yeah. You can just you can just go Wii mode and nunchuck. But uh, no, I wanted the authentic experience, so I went to the store and I got me a Wii Zapper. So here it is. I'm, I'm zapping. I'm ready. And I'm assuming this is like the main score attack is what we're doing. Yeah, score attack is the main mode. Hold on, before I do that, let, let me make doubly sure. Let me adjust alignment. Because we haven't done something like this since Mario Galaxy. Point the Wii Zapper at the center and make adjustments using the control stick. Well, that's that's my center. How's it going if I hold it down here? Cursor speed. That's gonna that's gonna be a benefit. A higher cursor speed, I feel. Yeah, for sure. Once you have created a me, you can read. No, I don't need a me player. Choose the me you would. There's just two links. They look exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, if you don't have any Miis, they give you a bunch of links to choose from. Okay. I, I will be Link A. So this is... Is this the entire game, or is there more levels past this? That is, this is the entire game. Okay, ten levels. Wow, it's just like Pokemon Play It. Board on target but, practice. Yeah, there's like three stages in every level. So there's, I think it's 20 some odd levels in the whole game. Okay. Well, this is timely as I'm just coming to, uh, I'm, I'm getting done with the Twilight Princess highlights. Maybe I'll do highlights of this immediately after. I'll, I'll do them in chronological order before I start Skyward. From what I hear, this game was initially planned to be a, like, full sequel to Twilight Princess. It was, but and I remember uh, seeing a, uh, I, th I thought I saw a Did You Know Gaming video that said that this game was so successful that they thought about doing another sequel to this, but Miyamoto shot it down and was like, no, we need to focus on the next Zelda game. This game was successful? Yeah. That I wasn't aware of. I wonder how, I wonder how well this sold then. Well, I mentioned this to you, but apparently this game was 25 cents retail. <laughs> Surely not on launch. I, I, I don't buy that they just sold this game for 25 cents. Need a source on that. Uh, the story I heard is that they had planned a Majora-type sequel to Twilight Princess, but uh, over time... Mia, this is hearsay, but Miyamoto's ideas kept, like, simplifying and simplifying the game over and over and over again. To a point that it became this this shooter game, and they had to argue with him just to get bosses in it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I heard, too. By the way, you can shoot... You don't just have to shoot targets, you can shoot other things that are in the environment, like the pumpkins, or the scarecrows, or the pots. Hmm. So this is like, a little bit like the swamp shooting gallery in Majora. I do have Wii, I do have a Wii Motion Plus remote. It still doesn't feel super accurate. Well, this is way too colorful to be Twilight Princess. Okay, and there's a, a couple of different modes, so to speak. Like this one, I can rotate in 360 degrees. 
Whereas the previous map, I was more or less just facing the same way the whole time. I also have rapid fire? What kind of crossbow is this? Yeah, you got automatic. Fucking I, mow him down, boy. Do I get punished for, like, missing? Yeah, uh, what they said, I was gonna mention this. So, your main objective, if you want to go for the higher scores, don't miss. Try to make sure you're getting all your shots consecutively. Yeah, so don't miss. Okay. Noted. Okay, so here's one of the walking stages where you get to move around. That's right. I'll have to put, uh... I'll have to put, like, uh, pictures of, of the peripheral in the video for this, or the highlights at least. Use the uh, nunchuck control stick to move oh, around. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> and I, I waggle. I use motion controls to change the way I'm facing. Wow, I, I just remember being here. Not only am I doing the highlights for our Twilight Princess run, I just, I'm in the middle of the retro achievements for it. And man, some of them are mean. I'm surprised you managed to get through Wind Waker as quick as you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially because that one involved, I had to get all the, all the stupid, uh, I had to get all the stupid figurines for those at that achievement set. But I do at least, like, like Wind Waker somewhat. This one's been, Twilight Princess was a bit of a chore. Yeah, and they've got, uh, they've got like a pit of 100, 100 trials thing in the game that we never did. And I gotta get through it with, uh, three hearts. That's looking to be the uh, the hardest thing in the set. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it... Well, no, this this game doesn't have them because it's a Wii game. They just recently added uh, added GameCube, so I'm curious how quickly we'll get Wii. Damn, we couldn't even scratch bronze. Do I need to, like, get certain scores to unlock future levels? I think if you just beat the first three, you unlock uh, the new levels as you go. Consecutive hits boost your score. Oh, it's one of these. But yeah, basically just, just shoot everything you see if you can. I think I'm trying to be too conservative and not, like, miss. No, I still had one more. Take ah. me back. So you played a lot of this game. Did you have Twilight Princess? Uh, yeah. On the Wii Although or with on the Twilight GameCube? Princess, I've only beaten like twice in my whole life. It's one of those games where it's like, once you beat it, you don't really have much of a reason to go back to it for a while. Yeah, I definitely feel that. Some, some tw poor Twilight Princess fans are watching this like, Hey, I always was curious what this game was like. Because I didn't have it as a kid. Oh, oh, they hate Twilight Princess. Why do they hate my favorite game? It's okay, I, don't I hate felt Twilight the same Princess. way about Skyward Sword too. Skyward Sword, weirdly enough, what HD, probably became my third favorite Zelda game. Yeah, watching it in, like, watching it recently when you streamed it, I'm starting to have different feelings about it, because for, like, the better part of a decade, I kind of just looked at Skyward Sword as, like, not a bad game, but just not one I'd want to revisit again because of how long it felt and just the, 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 the gimmick of the game. But watching it back, I'm like, this game isn't that long. I think it's paced pretty well, and I think it's honestly one of the more uh, charming Zelda games to play, so I'm like, yeah, I might, I might actually get back into it if I can. I didn't feel like I minded the, like, revisiting areas, because usually it was different enough. 
It wasn't I, that bad. I, I feel like I kind of over-exaggerated it when I was younger because I wasn't used to games with, uh, I wasn't used to games that were that long. But even that, like, yeah, looking back on it now, it wasn't, it was not that bad. Not that bad. I it's probably I, just because I didn't like the Lanayru Desert, because I hate desert levels with a passion, and it felt like it dragged on, especially in that level. Yeah, that wasn't my favorite area of the game. I can understand why people reacted it reacted to it negatively initially because I played the HD version. I would have hated it a lot more if I had to use motion controls for a lot of that stuff. And see, that's that's actually one of the funny things is that uh, for any reason I could, uh, if there was anything I could harp on Skyward Sword for, the motion controls would be the last thing because I the motion controls were pretty responsive, and that's mostly because it was using the uh, the Wii Motion Plus. And the way they incorporated the motion controls with the combat just felt really good. So I, I didn't mind the motion controls at all, but it's just everything else, though. Just like the pacing, the, the you know, the, the slow stuff I didn't really like. But watching it back, it's really not that bad of a game. It's great for the combat. It's just everything else that they forced the motion controls into is the problem. Yeah. Like the dousing. And B as a companion, kind of sucks. I don't hate her. I don't hate her either, but like, when you're someone, like, you, you've been on the internet for a long time, you've seen all like the unfair criticism against Navi, how annoying she is. If you want to talk about annoying companions that aren't helpful, fucking, yeah, I, I'd rather, I'd rather deal with Navi than be honestly. I think the idea of Fi was very, well, it was a good idea, because you could ask her about a variety of things. They usually, you're right, they usually weren't helpful, but if that was executed correctly, it would be a yeah. good way to handle it. Good concept, poor execution. It's just, yeah, like, the the dumb percentage thing, like, oh, if you're in a boss room, she's like, oh, there's a 90% chance there's a boss in this room. Yeah, thank you for that. Th thank you so much for telling me that. <laughs> Carico Village. Where's Malin? Send Malin out. Not Malin, Mallow. This is gonna Damn. sound like the most boomer shit ever. But, uh, I, I could play the Majora target shooting way more accurately than this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna chalk it up to you, just getting used to it, but, yeah, this is... Maybe, maybe the extra cursor speed was, was a... Maybe that was a bad idea. I was gonna say, idea. yeah, you may, maybe you should have left it at default and we could see what that would have felt like. Because ideally, yeah, you want to make sure you're getting all the bullseyes that you can. Oh, it matters where I hit the target? Yeah, you want to get bullseyes. Oh, fuck off, bees. Oh my god, bees. <laughs> After this set, I'll go back and I'll set it to, uh... Yeah. Oh, this one. Shoot the balloon fruit balloons. Shooting. I don't remember fruit balloons. Why are we at Disney Castle? <laughs> it kind of sucks that... We can't really get games like this anymore, like these arcade shooter type games, because, you know, that was kind of the gimmick of the Wii. We can't really get games like this anymore, it, which is a shame because I find that games like this tend to be really fun. The uh, motion control shooting? Yeah. Oh. Because normally you'd have to go to an arcade for that. You ever play any House of the Dead games? Oh yeah, I, I remember playing House of the Dead uh, on my local uh, pizza shop when I was younger. That was that's one of my favorite arcade shooters. 
That's like one of the, the big uh, yeah. rail shooter jaunt things that come to mind. Uh, Carnival. Time Stoppers is one of them. Carnival is one that a friend of mine liked a lot. Oh, there we go. We got bronze. The Great Bridge oh, Defender. Oh, this one. A swarm of cargo rocks. Where's my scope? My bow had a scope. Is all of this music from Twilight Princess, or is there a uh, new tracks? I'm pretty this? sure. I'm pretty sure almost everything in this game is lifted straight from Twi uh, Twilight Princess. I don't remember. I, I guess I may be misremembering. I don't remember this particular track being in it. There might be some original tracks because I know, like, obviously, the, like the main title music is original. So they they might have a few original tracks in here, but for the most part, most of it's from Twilight. Link's crossbow training metal remix. You'll find that for Smash. Oh my God, the birds! The birds! Let me let me let me break this down for you. Let me give you some perspective. I loved this game so much when I was younger. I would get all the gold medals on every level, and then when I was finished, I would start a new file and then do it all over again. <laughs> a new level is about. Well, hey, that's what yeah, that's what go. a medal looks like. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 calibrate that. Uh, change up that motion speed. Uh, cursor speed. I'll leave that at default and see yeah. that. Oh, the blur. How about lower it? In theory, lower would mean more precision. True. It's not like there. I'm, I'm barely moving this thing. Alright, level four. Zora River. I I do imagine that just holding the Wii remote would be more precise. Than it using would the be. zapper thing. I I feel like because I I I feel like using the zapper would kind of make it a little bit unwieldy. But yeah, in my experience, when I was using just the Wii remote, it was a lot easier. So you've tried it with the zapper? You had like a friend that had it or something? Yeah, I had a friend that had it, and yeah, I, I think it's it's just easier just using the single Wii remote. Yeah, once the Scarecrows are like that, once you already shoot the head off the Scarecrow, you don't need to shoot it anymore. But they're infinite one points. Doesn't feel a whole lot different with lower sensitivity. Pots are not worth much. They're not, but it's worth it because most of the time they'll have a rupee inside of them, and that's what you want to get. Oh, what's that? That's a charge shot. So I have to fire one to charge it. It's mostly useful for, like, enemy encounters. Oh, no, it's... Okay, so it's got target potential. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a mean angle. I also don't remember this track being in Twilight Princess. Oh, God. What, am I doing bad? Why are you oh godding? Because that, it's just that angle was just really bad. Yeah. Oh, th okay, so that's the target for all three combined, all three stages. Yeah. I think this is another movement stage. Yep, another movement stage. So I could be wrong, but I think they took some, like, tracks from Ocarina and, uh, remade them Maybe. for this. No, I don't seem to be able to move. I'm just rotating. What are the, what are the green? Those enemies that aren't here yet. Nope, I think those are, those are the, uh, automatic power-ups. You see that glowing thing in the sky? Ah. 
There you go. Oh, so that's a power-up. I don't normally have automatic? Yeah, you have to earn that. That's stupid. <laughs> that's a stupid thing for a crossbow to do. It's over 9,000! Okay, move using the control stick. Now we have a moving stage. Oh, okay, here we are. There we are. Uh... Where are they? But yeah, as you can see, this game is not very long. Only 20 summon levels, and each level is only like a minute, minute and a half long. You can realistically beat this within like an hour or two. Yeah, very short game. But you get a lot, of, you get a lot of bang for your buck because yeah, I, I, I forgot to go more in depth on this because yeah, I remember when I went to go get this game at my local GameStop. What happened was I was like, hey, do you guys have a uh, Link's Crossbow training? The dude had an entire cabinet filled with sealed copies of Link's crossbow training. And he looks me dead in the eyes and goes, a quarter. 25 yeah. cents. See, that doesn't surprise me, because that's usually what happens with games that no one buys. I was just like, man, a quarter? I, I've, never, I've never heard or seen a game that's sold for that much ever. I've never been to a game store where I've had to pay just a quarter to buy it. Oh, I, I do have I a Zoom. Especially if it's brand new, sealed. I'm like, bro, 25 cents, fuck yeah, this game's fucking, I'm getting a huge fucking deal for this game. This game's fucking fun as shit. So I do have a scope that's the, the left, the, the nunchuck yeah. is like scope and move. I kind of wish I had some kind of camera stick. I, I'm forced to like use the motion to yeah to turn link well we're getting we're getting bronzes at least it's better than nothing when this game was sold it i believe every copy came with the the Wii zapper that sounds about right cuz i mean yeah that that might be a good way to do it don't shoot the uka oh come on Those fucking curse little things Someone actually asked me to draw one of those, and I'm putting it off, because I <laughs> don't want to. Have you played or seen uh, Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, not Tears of the Kingdom. I played like a half hour Breath of the Wild, and I stopped from there because I realized that it's just not my cup of tea. It's really not. Oh, that's right. I forgot you don't care for those games. Yeah. I do think they're pretty overrated, but I do enjoy them. might be this might just be me but like i'm just not I, i've never been a fan of when these long-running franchises decide to jump the shark and kind of go reboot status and make this like complete overhaul to the genre like god of war did like zelda did it's like i just i don't like when it feels like a completely different genre it's like i don't i'm, I'm not sure if i did that it does and i'm worried it's going to do the same thing as the sonic series where now it's got like two pretty different fan bases that all want different things from the series yeah I mentioned that because they've done like a uh, they've done a precursor race in every Zelda game since Twilight Princess, and uh, conspicuously, Tears of the Kingdom it involves like a precursor race in the sky that was like the, the progenitors to the Highlands. And I'm thinking, wait, they is this what the Uka became? <laughs> Something's coming. Keep your eyes on your radar and on the ground. Oh yeah. Gotta make, gotta watch them coming out from the ground like tremors. Oh, these are Molduga? Wow, they change in status a lot between games. It was a boss in Wind Waker, now it's these little things, and then it's a, like a mini boss in Breath of the Wild. Huh.
We can agree that that Kraken was the stupidest looking thing in Skyward Sword, though, right? It was. That did like, not look like a been, Zelda I've, enemy. I've always made the joke that it looks like the, the love child of Mike Wazowski in, uh, and the fucking Monsters Snake Head Lady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Such a goofy looking monster. Link and of course, Wazowski. the boss fight was just, oh, big obvious weak point. The eyeball. I don't think I'm going to get 20,000 on this one. <laughs> Defeat the 25 Bulbins. This this is in the hidden village. The village hidden in the brown. If there's one thing that I remember from Twilight Princess, it's this stupid fucking cat side quest. I hated this. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I, that, there's an achievement for doing that. You got to play hide and seek with kittens. Oh, that's right, yeah, I gotta move. and I, I absolutely hated it. I spent way too much time on that side quest, and it was just so stupid. Well, this is basically the same as the game itself. This is just Twilight Princess again. That's really all it is. It's really just taking bits and pieces from Twilight Princess and turning it into a target-shooting arcade game. Well, <laughs> that's I'm, really I'm saying all it that is. that was all what it was in Twilight Princess. You just come here and you do the shootout. So this is, like, exactly the same. Oh, you missed the repeat. There was a uh, there was an achievement for doing this without being seen by a single Bulbin. That was a pain. Oh. <laughs> Fuck that. Can you jump, Link? No. Okay. <laughs> Can't even do a little hop anymore. Don't you know Zelda never has a jump button? Oh, hello. You gonna, like, stop me? No, you're just gonna stand in the window? Alright. Oh, I missed a lot. Yeah, there's there's a lot, yeah, it's... Well, we got the bronze, at least. We're it's scratching a, bronze. It's a funny attention to detail, because having done this for the achievement so many times, they're in exactly the same positions as in Twilight Princess. Oh, wow. <laughs> they just ripped this map and these enemies from Twilight Princess and changed the genre. Nice, new level. Level 6. Look, we're already almost done. Or on, on two. practice. Hit the bullseyes as quickly as you can. They, they really, like, they make you stay on that screen for a few seconds, so just make really sure you read it. Bring the kids out. <laughs> Bring the dude shoot with the weird the square head. I want to shoot Minecraft Steve. The NPCs are the best part of Twilight Princess. I don't like yeah. the game, but I love the NPCs so much. They're so stupid looking. <laughs> Gotta love fucking Baby Walter. See, you tell me you can shoot stuff, but then everything you shoot is totally worthless. It's like five points. I mean, that's, it adds up. Trust me, it adds up. And sometimes, sometimes they do have hidden stuff in them. They'll have rupees in them. Because that, that's what matters. You want to make sure that you're getting the rupees. Like, every little thing counts. Alright, Mr. Gold Score Earner. <laughs> it's the best game ever, I promise. You gotta play Zelda 2 after this. You know that, right? I love Zelda 2. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I love Zelda 2. I, I played the shit out of that on the uh, virtual console back in the day. Have you seen the uh, the PC port? Quote, I haven't quote. seen the PC port, but I've watched you play the randomizers of it. Uh, no, not that one, because I played... I played Zelda 2 Redux. Aside from that version, which fixes a lot of the complaints people had with oh, Zelda okay, 2. Oh, okay, yeah, it was Redux, not Because that's a ROM hack. Uh, the PC port is interesting because it adds a ton of stuff that was not in the original game to, like, more than, like, Super Mario 64 DS, more than the, that degree. Huh. And so it's interesting, because, like, I guess it, it, br it brings up the question of how much or is it okay to change in the name of improving the game. Before it becomes an entirely new game. Yeah. 
because it's great. It's it's well designed. I like all yeah. the additions. Is that something that you're gonna plan on streaming at some point? Conceivably. Because I've heard about the PC port, but I I haven't looked into it. I think it also even does include a randomizer now, but I don't think I'd want to do that before playing the base version, just yeah. because it adds so much. Oh, this level. The chill foes. I hate these things. I have made <laughs> uh, I have made three attempts at the the cave of ordeals now, the pit of a hundred trials, and twice I have died on the fiftieth fucking floor. Because Damn. they want you to fight three dark nuts. What the fuck? Those, the stupid enemies that, like, are an incredible yeah. pain to deal with and have no foolproof way of dealing with. If I can, I sidestep like I'm supposed to and I still get stabbed in the toe. I also remember a lot of, a lot of floors having these, the chill foes. They're a pain to deal with. They never really came back. No, they didn't. I mean, they, they look cool. You can shoot those ice walls. Did they go down ever? Try a charge shot. There we go. Yeah. There's a whole wall of them. There's lined up waiting for you. I wonder if there is an arcade machine of this. I don't think so. I mean, that'd, that'd be pretty fucking cool, though. But there are so. some uh, unexpected, um, some arcade versions you wouldn't expect in Japan. Like, there's a Luigi's Mansion arcade machine. I did not know that. Aw, oh, damn, just barely. Oh, I have to earn a medal to unlock the levels, even. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I gotta You're get You're not cereal. allowed to suck in this game. Uh, a pause menu. Let me try it with even lower speed. Yeah. See if that helps my accuracy any. In general, do you think I should focus on precision or just on hitting as many things as possible? Like, should I be using the spray more, do you think? I guess, no, I don't have the spray. That was a, that was a power-up, never mind. Oh, that's a minus! God damn it. Abandon. Start over. Cancel. Punish me for shooting chickens. When it comes to the levels with the sprays, I would say try not to use those, because you can just use your charge shot instead, and it'll take out a group of enemies. So I think when we get to stages like that, try just using charge and see if that helps, because yeah, when you use the automatic shot, you run the risk of missing and fucking up your combo. Oh, what are those? Oh, look at that. Yeah, see, just stuff like that. It just sprouted a bunch of balloons. I don't even think I was aware of that. I could be using the zoom in a lot more than I am, I suppose. Yeah, that probably help with the farther targets. Yeah, there you go. I see you peeking out. Okay. That's, that's cool. So it, it does tell you if you got a higher score than last time. Okay, cool.
If only Linkle existed before this game. Which game was she in? That was, uh, that was, uh, Hyrule Warriors, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, which means Nintendo will never use her because she wasn't their idea. Yep. <laughs> Build online? Can't do that. Someone else came up with it. Friends list? Nope, that's someone else's idea. We use friend codes. I am so inaccurate on this one. That's where all that replay value comes in. It's a short game, but it's all about that learning curve. It's Ugh. all about that getting good. Okay, 13,000. You can make that up. I had to get 7,000 on stage three. I'd say try utilizing your charge shots more for this stage, since there's so many ice, so much ice around here. Yeah, there you go. Especially because those fuckers will block you. Oh, that's right, this is a walking stage. Where's the Yetis? I want to shoot Mr. Yeti for pushing me so much. <laughs> I'm tired of making soup. Pumpkin fish and cheese soup. <laughs> Makes a world of difference right there. I need danger. No one looks up in video games. Yeah, I know they're standing around. It's not like they're approaching me or anything. Damn, they almost blend in. Oh, it's a bomb arrow. That's what the charge shot is. Uh... Where's the last ones? They're behind the wall. Damn it. Oh, how, that was terrible! I thought that, man, I thought that was a better run. I guess I got more points for shooting them, like, individually than the charge shots. Oh yeah, replaying levels, because you're suck at the game. Replay value. This is the Dark Souls experience right here. Okay, so did you just like go up to the screen and and touch and hold the Wii remote against it like Duck Hunt? Did you <laughs> no, ever do that's that? the one way to get good is <laughs> I need to go for the pumpkins immediately to get those. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Yeah, restart so you can get those balloons. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I read it. Thank you. Disguise loading times. Boy, I feel like this is gonna be a project for you once the stream's over. You're probably gonna be anal and wanna go for these gold medals when it's over. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Maybe when they add achievements, I'll worry about it. I'm almost to the end of uh, Naruto Shippuden, and I started How we watching that war arc. Uh, well, I, I haven't been watching a lot of that. I started watching it for, like, social reasons, just because I knew it was a bad show, but I wanted to be able to talk about it with people. But it's kind of been a net zero, because all I want to talk about is the filler, and no one else watched the filler.
Well, I haven't seen a lot of filler either, <laughs> so I can't even really talk about it that much either. Two of them have just been like uh, like fillerized revisits of the the tuning exams and the and like the Sasuke retrieval arc, like kind of AU stuff. Which at there this point in the series, one, there was also like that weird filler chapter where they redid the fucking uh, Edo Tensei shit again. Edo Tensei, the revival jutsu where they brought the villains back to life, the Kabutone shit. Uh, yeah, that was kind of, that was a thing very briefly. But I'm at the point of the series where I'll, I'll take, like, shittier versions of the best arc in the series over whatever canon is currently doing. Because, yeah, right now, you are in the worst part of Shippuden. Yeah, Which so is I've a heard. pretty much unanimous agreement. <laughs> Because, okay, yeah, the so... war arc is just filled with horse shit. How did I get that guy in one shot? Do I have to get him by surprise or something? I think some of them are armed with those purple spears, and some of them aren't. I think that's why. Because if they have those purple spears, they'll start blocking you like that. And if they don't have it, then I think you just one-shot them. Okay, so if I build up, like, beforehand, then I get, like, 600 for the final hit. Because I got, like, four ones first. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, the multiplier, okay. That's all right. We're, we're, in, our tri we're, we're in our trial and error period. We're, we're learning what sticks and what doesn't. To be fair, it's been well over a decade since I played this, even though I would get gold medals on everything. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's how you do it. You just rail on them without ever missing. Shit. I mean, ideally, you still don't want to miss anything. You, you, you really don't, because imagine... Because if you don't miss anything, you could get, like, a 30 times multiplier up to, like, 60 even. And that, look at that, it's like, yeah, 16,000 right there. That's, that's, that's the best run you've gotten. What's silver? Is it gonna tell me? Nope. You've got a bronze 3, medal. I don't know why I didn't tell you, it's normally wood. Oh yeah, 40,000, okay. Underground target practice. City oh sky, yeah, we get to fight the Redes. They're going to take a lot of hits. Shoot the skulls. Is the air fruit going to pop out? It's so punishing for the X's. You already know they're gonna hide a blue X in one of those. <laughs> yep, like that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I don't like this level. This level sucks. I'm starting over. So these don't add to your multiplier. No. Actually, the target. No, the targets do. Targets and enemies add to the multiplier. But background objects, no. But you'd, you still want to get the background objects for things like the reviews and shit. 
because every little thing counts. But yeah, mainly not missing. I have to stress that mainly not missing anything is the most important thing. So if you if you don't want to shoot anything, if you if you're certain you don't want to shoot it, don't go for it. But if, if you're feeling good about it, I can play a fucking shooter game. My worst genre. <laughs> he scored it. Save me briefly. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, there they are. Hit them with, hit them with the bomb arrow. Uh, the multiplayer, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at those numbers go up. I need to know exactly how many hits they take, though. I think it's like 10 hits. I can yeah, just, three. I can just yeah, spray yeah. into purple the thing. Numbers, purple. And it still didn't do anything. No, because they were all ones. Yeah. I think what you want to do for that is get a good multiplier going and then fire off a bomb arrow. Yeah, probably. They're all foes. Okay, they take two. That's kind of surprising because these guys were like mini bosses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to have to invest in a dolphin bar because uh, I really want to play this again. If it weren't like utterly obvious from the technical difficulties and everything else, I am emulating this and we use a we use a dolphin bar. It's like a 15, 20 dollar thing. Yeah, that lets you use real Wii remotes on a on a PC for dolphin. Oh god, there's too many of them. We're completely surrounded. We're completely fucked. When did they die? Why, why did one of them take two hits and now I can't get rid of them? <laughs> Do I have to target them in specific spots or something? I, I think those guys, you need to use your charge for the bomb arrow because of their shields. I guess so. So now we're gonna have to do like every level twice, once to learn and once to actually beat it, just for fucking Pretty bronze. Much. Another movement stage. Okay, three for the skull. No, more than three. Ow. And it looks like there's gonna be some automatic power ups here. Judging by the green blips on the radar. Yeah, normally, they would be expecting you to haul ass. CB most. Oh god, the precision. I set the cursor slow for precision, but then it takes forever to, like, turn. Yeah, that, that's that's that weird drawback. Alright, so we got automatic again. Which is a liability now, because I'm not going to get damage boosters. Or not damage boosters, uh, multipliers. I don't think I did very well here. <laughs> Stage one is going to be my best for points, as far as the... Would, would the this one had the re-deads. Yeah. So now we just got to remember, at the very end, try to get a high multiplier, and then finish it off with a bomb. So you don't lose points for missing, you just you lose your multiplier. Yeah, you should lose a multiplier. Oh, 
you bitch. Nice. Scarecrow, no! Damn it. this level <laughs> nope not taking that nope here it is anal zarog emerges i didn't think we'd see it in the stream but here we go jack's the shooter guy jack would probably like this more than me yeah jack would play this and say hey it's a better game than twilight princess <laughs> I mean, that, I think that was, like, I'm telling you, because as far as I know, uh, when this came out, it, like, it was so successful that they were genuinely considering doing a sequel to this instead of focusing on the next Zelda game. But then it ended up in the bargain bin. Yeah. <laughs> and then it started selling for 25 cents. Feels like the pots and things are better to just like just be there to accidentally hit because they'll save your multiplier. True. Who would pay 25 cents to play Link's crossbow training? I don't know if any big YouTubers like the AVGM or anything have ever done an episode on this. I don't know. Because I watch a lot of those, like, YouTubers, like, JonTron, ProJared. Not a lot of people talk about this game. Seven, eight, nine, ten? Yeah, it's ten. Yep. Ah! You could have had a... Okay, well, it's up from last time. By a little bit. I still need to do better than that twice. And yeah, that's not going to happen. I mean, you, for this one, you surely got to get something. So for this one, try to use the bomb arrows for the flying guys. Oh, okay, so they just walk. All right, just charge shot it. <laughs> They're so fast! So you've already got a way better score than you did last time. <laughs> way better. Oh. I, I got a Triforce for that? I, I, I forgot that was a mechanic. I don't know how you get that. Um, hmm. Ah, I moved to the last second. Who's, who's endangering me? All right. Okay, so Triforce pieces are obtained by just um, shooting enough enemies or shooting enough targets, you get one randomly. Okay, well that was much better than last time. So yeah, I think we got it this time. Expect something like this to be like a game mode in a Banjo Kazooie game. <laughs> because the multiplayer was an FPS in Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, it was. 
yeah. I've never played Banjo Tooie, but I am aware of that. I see big red shiny crystal in the middle. My intuition tells me that you can shoot that. Damn it. <laughs> uh oh! Mr. Bemos. Oh, you only gotta kill one more enemy. That it? Hey, okay, okay, so when you finish an objective, you get a Triforce piece. Okay, that's helpful. Alright. That is not destructible. Well, now what? You, you finish. Now you just shoot. Whenever you finish a level, you just go around and shoot whatever bonuses you can. All right, well, I'm guessing right, cool. that's not silver, but it's definitely above bronze, at least. You unlock the next stage, thank God. <laughs> Level eight. Who made oh, yeah, this game? this one horseback. Was this an in-house, like, EAD production? I think so. Because from what, from what I read or what I what I saw, it was like an in-studio thing. And the developers themselves were like... Because they were the ones asking for, like, approval from Miyamoto if they could go ahead and do a sequel to this game. Yeah, Because the developers loved it, and they were like, oh, do you think we could, you, do, you think we could do a sequel? And Miyamoto was like, no, we need, we need to actually make a, a Zelda game. We can't, we can't be doing sequels to this. Last ones, foreground. I lost track of my cursor. That reminds me. Uh, one thing that I do like about Twilight Princess is uh, in how in Hyrule Field, when it's nighttime, it kind of sounds like uh, Malin is singing in the background. Oh yeah, that uses that. Uh, yeah. That, that MIDI. Yeah, yeah. Only 5,000. What's the next one? So, oh, hey, we're back here. Okay, so this is another one of those, like, levels where they're going to give you an automatic power-up. enemies. Hello. Oh god, it's a stampede. <laughs> ah, but think of the multiplier. Ah, I missed. Yeah, they want you to get the, the automatic, but we're not going to do that because that uh, it's going to cause us to fuck up. You got to be meticulous about this. You got over, you got 11,000, so... Making it count. Yeah, it's adding up. Now I'm missing. I don't There's care how many. shiny and green you are, we're not taking you. 13,000, not bad. Come on, you only need 2,000. There's no oh, way you boy. can fuck this up. There's you no fuckers. way you can fuck this up. <laughs> Defeat the single dark nut before time runs out. Hey, how about three? Skip. There's a skip cutscene. Okay, so this is our first boss, effectively. Yeah. And this is a movement, so yeah, you gotta move around. I'm sorry, he summons bats? What are these things? <laughs> it just flew out of his armor. He's like, he's like Oogie Boogie. He's full of bugs. Oh, that's nasty. So he, it's like, he's reminding me of Gomez. The Zelda boss, not Gomez Adams. No. <laughs> he's reminding me of Go Gomez from Majora's Mask, the dude with the, bat, the bats and shit. 
I'm gonna this this dark nut is way more like manageable than the ones that are actually in the game. Yeah. Cause you've got a you've got a crossbow now. You use range to your advantage. Oh, he'll dodge. We Dark Souls in this bitch. We don't have Z targeting. <laughs> what the? When did he gain this ability? He's he's a vampire now. Okay, so I don't know if you put that together. You got to shoot those white bats when he does that. Oh, okay. No, I did. I did not. In fact, come on. Ow. Okay. Yep. One, two. Oh. Eh. I hope he doesn't reset those. That way you don't have to do all three of them at once. Oh, come on. Can't even beat... Get it. Oh, and I didn't even beat him. Oh, you know what? You got 3,000. You, you got you got the medal. <laughs> even though you didn't technically beat him. For that pathetic Are you gonna take display. that line down? You gonna... <laughs> Is there... Do you ever unlock a way to do, like, individual stages? I think you can do that in practice mode. Fossil style lord. Ranch target. Yeah, I'm practice. pretty sure you can do that in practice mode. We've been doing this for one hour and we're almost done. Yeah, I told you, it's a short ass game. Most of the replay value just comes from getting good and just trying to get gold. These borderline toad noises. Alright, got a 16 multiplier. And it's gone. Oh, we had a, had a 16 multiplier there, and it's gone. Shit, you're getting a good score. You got 17,000. So yeah, definitely, definitely got to be meticulous. I think is what really counts. Definitely the multiplier is what counts the most. Fucking getting carried in by fucking Glaze. Twenty-eight thousand. Good shit. That's bronze right there. You 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 were in the bronze off the first stage. Are we gonna get a we silver? We might get silver, even a gold. Sacred Grove Defender, Skulk. Oh, this, this is a fucker. Lost woods. This is going to be another one of those automatic stages where they want you to use the, the rapid fire. Thousand, yeah, you might, you might actually get fucking silver. You do have silver, nice. <laughs> I just need to get twenty thousand on the final stage, <laughs> easy. Fossil style lord, final boss. What what makes him different from the regular style lord? It's because he's outside.
Oh, he's got a body, I guess. Well, no, this was the the original one was just like he had a body. He was just like in a pit. So I can't move. Oh yeah, this is he's got the Nintendo trope of shooting his hands. Stunningly original. Wouldn't be a Nintendo boss without this feature. I <laughs> like his dumb poses that he makes. He's like, over here, over here, oh, up here. Big, obvious glowing weak spot. Yep. And he grows his limbs back. Oh, there's bubbles. No, go back. Go back. Up high. Down Give me low. Real close. <laughs> Give me five. Dab me up. One to the side. Out of sight. Down low, too slow. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna get 20,000. I don't think that's gonna happen. We got silver at least. That's that's the best thing we got in the stream. Oh, now he's doing. He's he's alternating. Doing little 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 break dance. Fuck off bubbles. Damn, couldn't beat him, but we got 9,000. That's all right, we got silver. That's good. Way better than we we would have done before, so that's, that's all right. Relatively close to gold, even. <laughs> well, it doesn't feel you, right having these two just unmetalled. Yeah, you might as well just go get the metals on those and just call it there, I guess. I don't like that, boss. <laughs> that boss makes it very difficult to be, to, like, not miss. Yeah, the constant fucking poses fucking, uh... Like doing arrow practice on a pillar man. <laughs> oh yeah, those little chestnut things. Gotta find uses for Goron City music, I guess. Put it in order on. What's the what's the internal logistics for this? Why is Link just flying around? I wonder if he's got the glider. <laughs> was there a glider in Twilight Princess? I don't I think don't there think was. It, yeah. No, I don't think there was a glider. That was an outlier because the feature was effectively introduced in Majora with the Deku Leaf. Yeah. Or the Deku and it was in like Wind flowers. Waker. Yeah, then that had the Deku Leaf. It skipped Twilight, but then gliders were in Skyward and both games after that. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you could start charging without firing a shot. Twilight Princess is interesting because, like, isn't this the game that doesn't have the magic meter? Like, this game doesn't have magic in it, doesn't it? It doesn't have any kind of meter. Uh, yeah. no 3D it's... Zelda game has had a magic meter since Wind Waker. This game had no meter at all, and then oh, wow. Skyward introduced sca uh, stamina. Right. That's crazy. The... the new game, Echoes of Wisdom, where you play as Zelda, is, uh... It's having S River Zor in it again. With, hmm. like, a full society and everything, which I don't think has happened since Link to the Past. Well, and that's they, cool. they call the regular Sora, uh, Sea Zora. Huh. Which is interesting because they're in freshwater in every appearance other than Majora. I just miss everything. Did I accidentally- I accidentally got automatic. 
Yeah, it's those it's those big green guys. Yeah. Well we got up to ten thousand, it looks like. Almost. Almost ten thousand. Oh, yeah, maybe. Please. Please. No, no. Just shy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Almost got brained by a dude. Alright. Gotta make gotta make just over 5,000 with this one. It's actually harder to do these early levels because there just aren't as many targets. Yeah. Alright, well this one should be too hard. You can make your, your shots count with this one because you just gotta shoot the Bacoblins. This is also more or less wholesale, just straight from the game. They added some Bacoblins. Yeah. It didn't really have- it didn't have this many originally, but... They are effectively okay, in all the got, same spots. Them. Already got 10,000, not bad. You already got 10,000. Crookie. I'm, I'm, I don't know why that just keeps coming to my head, but it's just that, that fucking Jace. He's like, he's got a power level of only, of only 9,000. I need danger. Is there someone behind me? No? Oh yeah, you, you, okay, so yeah, if you kill the rest of these guys, you get the Triforce. You might get silver. Ah, I missed. Oh, I missed. Actually, this is only like half the base. They're, they're missing some from the original game. And... Where's, where's the last, last one? one? Oh, he's... Nope, that's a Scarecrow. Where are you? You hiding? Dude, get involved. Oh, there he is. Cool. All right, twenty-three thousand. That's cool. Nice. Is that silver though? Probably not. Nope. Just shy. So are they Just all shy. the same score thresholds as twenty, forty, sixty? Yep. It's all the same. There's not a platinum, is there? I don't think so. I think it's all just gold. At least I think, from what I remember. Let me double check that. Shoot the Goron. There are indeed platinums. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, Mr. Expert, have you gotten all platinums? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm I'm I I love this game and I played it non-stop back in the day. I'm I'm almost positive that I would have made sure that I got platinum on all the levels. <laughs> My mind just went to gold because I think that was just I don't know why. I just, I just thought this game only went up to gold. So I'm assuming since there's platinum, I think that's like 80,000. Is there super platinum? Is there a hundred thousand? <laughs> he just wants to. He just wants to make sure that I have that I, that I don't have the highest score in this game. He just wants to make sure. I'm gonna personally take over the retro achievements for this set. Make them too hard for you to complete. <laughs> Oh, let me see here. Are these enemies these fish I don't even remember them being in the game yeah I don't I don't remember those things either this was a mini game that I don't think we did on the streams is you go down the river and you'd shoot a bunch of pots with an arrow I don't remember if it was this music though Fucking tech tights. I hate these things. Mm. 
Well, we've officially gotten good. We're, we're breaking 10,000 on average. You almost got 20. Yep, 20,000. There it is. That's a good sign right there. We might get... Oh, yeah, we can definitely get silver on this one. Unless I somehow do worse than the last time I played this. Goal shooting. Oh, not skeet, skeet shooting. shooting. Skull shooting. Insert duck hunt music. That's what they could have... I'm kind of surprised they... Well, I'm, I guess I'm not surprised given the way this game's development started. They could have done a duck hunt reboot on the Wii doing this. Yeah, they could have. They attempted a surprising number of weird reboots on the Wii of old abandoned franchises. Yeah, like uh, Punch Out. <laughs> well, Punch Out did get previous games. It was on the Super NES. Didn't get anything on the 64 or GameCube. Uh, I'm thinking a boy and his blob. Burger Time got a Wii game. Oh yeah, that's right. Not like ports, but like new games. They wanted to reinvigorate right. invigorate these franchises. Because, I don't know, they, they felt like they'd work for casual audiences, I suppose. I barely did better. That level sucks. Well, you got lower. <laughs> you know what I also think it is? It's probably because the Wii was like the family console and a lot of boomers had it like even my grandparents had a wii so it's like maybe they thought since it was such like a family cared console and a lot of adults had it they'd be like you know what let's bring back some oldies let's bring back some ones that the adults will, will like to play some of them not Star Fox though fuck Star Fox fuck metroid we don't need new metroid yep I'll redo a couple since I know how to play the game now. I don't know, maybe we'll you're, you're take one more crack silver. at the skeleton boss. I don't think I'm going to go for all silver, but we've only been going an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, it, it, like I knew we weren't going to be able to just do this in one stream and just call it. Like there had to be some type of replay to this. I hate that the targets disappear. Like, I wish they just stayed there and if the screen moved, I'd be fine. But man, yeah, them I disappearing fucking shot like that. that. <laughs> Give me, give me, like, rubber nerf arrows, and let me shoot the kids from the village. Let me, <laughs> let me play targets with the NPCs from Twilight Princess. <laughs> let me shoot that crazy old bomb maker. Let me go in and shoot up Malomart. With all the stupid dancing people. I wish I could get a closer look at the uh, NPCs in Castle Town, because they always look like they have interesting designs, but there's no way yeah. to go first person. Alright, gotta beat 15,000. That was already a good score as is. For some reason, this one reminds me of a... Uh, there was a Pokemon AR game on the 3DS that you would do to get, like, special versions of the, the like, Thunder God Pokemon. And the whole game was basically this game, this minigame. Hmm. But it was an AR, so you were shooting around your bedroom. Oh, yeah. Shooting star. Are those worth a lot? I assume so. <laughs> Yo, let's reboot the Space Invaders. Million points for hitting the UFO. Atari, actually, that reminds me. Atari very recently started doing, like, a bunch of, like, reboots or, like, remakes of all their old arcade games. Oh, did they? So what? they've got... Centipede recharged, uh, 
Lunar Lander recharged, Missile Command recharged. Like, they took all these really old arcade games that they had back in the day, and they remade them. On what? On mobile? On, on consoles. I, just, I haven't heard of any of these. Yeah, like it, like, it was around the same time when Atari did their, uh, I think it was like their their 50th anniversary collection and they're like you know what we're we're gonna atari's coming back everybody we're gonna we're gonna release a new atari system they, they did that by the way they released the atari 2600 system again so we got that well it's not really a new system it's like an atari 2600 mini wasn't it yeah it's basic it's it's called the atari 2600 plus and you can play 2600 cartridges on it, so that's that's pretty neat. But it's not like uh, we're going to enter the console market and compete with the PS5. No, no, not like, like that. It's like, hey guys, look, we're back. We're 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 releasing the Atari console again, and we're going to start making games again. And by making games, we just mean re remaking the games that we had from like 40 years ago. <laughs> Damn, just a thousand shy of 50. Ah, screw it. We can try for silvers. Yeah. Cause yeah, I have a, I have centipede recharged, and yeah, they're nothing special. Cause they play like the thing is, they play literally exactly the same as the original games on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. All they did was make it look like um, they're made of like LED lights, kind of. As they usually do for games of that era. Tetris effects never goes on, like, any significant sale. Whoever owns Tetris is milking whatever their most recent game for that franchise is, as long as they can milk it. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised a lot of other arcade games haven't gone the way of the 99 route. Because it worked so well for, uh... Well, I don't know how well it worked for Pac-Man, how many people are still playing that, but... Obviously, Tetris was a blowout success. Yeah. I kind of well, wonder who's... Uh... Pac-Man recently got a... The Pac-Man Museum recently. We got a... The Pac-Man World Remake. I'm hoping they do Someone a... made a Pac-Man World Remake? That's a 3D yeah. game, isn't it? Yeah. That was released like a couple years ago. And I'm hoping that they do the second one because the second one's my favorite, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Pac-Man... Pac-Man's been getting some traction lately. I kind of wonder what Frogger's been up to. I thought that would be an easier, easy level. Uh, this is this one. Keys level. The keys. Yeah, take out the flock. There you go. Fuck, fuck the automatic shot. Again, you have to be careful, though, because you you have yeah. to fire a shot before charging it. Yeah, that is pretty lame. Oh, we already got 12,000. So far, I haven't missed. Oh, there it was. Ooh, look at that, 30,000. Oh. oh. Well, that's, that's fine, 30,000, that, that's, that's, that's dope. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Oh, 40,000, that's silver in just one stage. Damn, you might get gold. Oh, yeah, if you do just as good as the stage three, you're definitely getting gold. Oh, yeah. Give me platinum. First gold of the stream. Let's go. Sculptula Forest. This, this piddly music. I don't remember where this was used in the game, but I'll bet it's by the same guy who composed the Wind Waker boss themes. Damn it.
Okay, so this is one of those, like, kill all the sculptural levels. Alright. I say this every Zelda game, every modern Zelda game, but there's such a stark difference between, like, the Koji Kondo music, the Great Sea theme, the sweeping orchestras, and then just some dude on a MIDI keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> for half of this other music. Hello? I don't think I'm gonna get the Triforce. Look on the ground. Oh, there it is. Okay, it was just hanging up there. I didn't even see it. I think they're all hanging. Yep. That's alright, you got 14. You got gold! You still got gold. Hell yeah. Alright, now how much is platinum? Tell me. Is it 80 thou? Or if they surprise us and they give it's 100. It's 100,000, I swear to God. 80. Okay, okay. 80 thou. Alright. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I did I did get all plats when I when I did my playthroughs of this. I'm pretty sure cuz that if cuz getting would taunt gold you if it, if you saw that there was still one more to do. <laughs> cuz I mean, like like realistically, it's not that difficult to just make sure that you don't miss every target. And if you can get gold that easily, getting platinum it shouldn't be that hard either. So it's like it's not it's not that big of an ask. Because it really does that, just uh, come down to not missing anything. I always hated that Crash 3 wouldn't show you the Platinum times until you beat the game first. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you sh no, give me bonus points for shooting these things. Fucking oh, you timer. Bastards. This score's pathetic. I <laughs> see he just stopped short. Asshole. Yeah, that one's not that ah. stayed doing great. You, you got a you got a hundred point difference. I don't like this one either. Moldorm. And of course, I have to move my cursor just to rotate, which these things are always spinning. Pretty sure that pot up there has a rupee in it. Damn it. My intuition has failed me yet again. Seemed to me you were the expert! <laughs> I'm sorry, Louie. It's been like ten years. No, come up! I didn't get the Triforce. <laughs> You're doing better, if by a little bit. This stage sucks. Yeah, All this, right, move this, and this stage the isn't bulbings. very friendly. Well, this one... This one should be easier, because you can just hunt down all the uh, vocalists and get the Triforce. Yeah, this one I can more or less take my time on. Knife, you motherfuckers. <clears throat> Might as well snipe those ones on the, yeah, the far end there. Kinda wish you got more points for taking long shots. Yeah, <laughs> that would be pretty neat. Like 
12 more. Like, this is exactly what- get yeah, damn it! This is exactly what I did for the achievement. I even remember my route. Do a chain reaction. No, Damn leave me stop. alone. Oh, there's two of them up there. Okay. Oh, there's still five left somewhere. Yeah, some of those you have to like go in the building to get them. Damn. Okay, well that's better, but so I don't think that's silver. silver. Uh. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, those we didn't stages need to do that are rough. One. Yeah, leave that one alone. That's rough. Ordon 2, okay. I think this is the one where you get the balloons at the start. Actually, yeah, you know what, speaking of, uh, speaking of these, uh, rail shooting type games that were on the Wii, because there were a few of them, like, the Wii did capitalize on this genre quite a bit. There was some Resident Evil games that were like this. Uh, one of my favorite games on the WiiWare, on the, on the Wii Shop, was, um, it was so creative. I think it was called, uh, Fast Draw? I think so, I think it was called Fast Draw, it was a western shooter. And it was a whole game where it was all done in FMVs, like these live action like actors and shit in like the Wild West. I think I've and, seen that one. Yeah, and it's really fun because all you do, it's a quick draw. It's about watching them carefully and seeing if you can, you know, raise your gun fast enough to shoot them. I'm it's pretty so sure Joel played that. In fact, yeah, it might have been a, uh, it might have been a computer game that was like ported to the Wii. Because of the motion controls. Yeah. yeah. Cause I don't think it was a I don't think it was made for the Wii exclusively. I think it was a port. But it worked so well because it's like, yeah, just it's it's a fast draw game. It's a quick draw in the West and it's it was just so fun, man. Is that the one with the dude that shoots the throws the can in the air and goes, You miss that one, try another. I think so. hate this moving camera. It's just like, yeah, it's just that kind of like, it's a whole genre of game that we just, you're not going to be able to see anymore because it was just tied to this type of gimmick, this motion control gimmick that we don't have anymore. Oh, Can't really in, do that. In the case of that game, it was a point and click game, but yeah. Okay, yeah, it's called Fast Draw Showdown. Hello?
last ones are. You still there? Oh, I accidentally had myself muted. No. <laughs> I was worried. You mentioned that you've been having internet problems, so I was worried you no. might have disconnected. <laughs> I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet. Here's open. Knock on wood. We're almost done. Damn it. This is... this. I think this is the only stream so far where I've streamed with you where I'm remotely feeling like Jack right now. <laughs> where I'm Just getting secondhand frustration by watching this. Yeah. It's bad enough that it's a game I've never played before. It's a game that is completely off genre for me. I hate shooters. Yeah. But it's so fucking fun. Yeah, how'd that X make you feel? <laughs> It's the opposite of getting your rocks off. Does that piss you off? <laughs> Thankfully, I think most, if not all, of the WiiWare games were saved before it went under. Yeah, that's good. Oh, you got a 30. Might as well go for the bomb right now. Ah! Oh, you... <laughs> you greedy bastard. <laughs> Okay, 7,000, that's better than last time. You could have had a whole I, fucking... I know. <laughs> I was trying to be so careful and count how many they had yeah. in them. <laughs> On levels like this where you can't move anyway, I wish I could just move with the stick. Or rotate yeah. the camera with the stick. Yeah, that would be pretty helpful. I'm losing my multiplier with every hit because I keep having to fire the one arrow to start the charge. Damn. Oh, we got it. That's the easy Triforce to get. Okay. I don't think we're gonna get 40,000 on this one. Hmm. What stage is this? Oh, okay, yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. And these guys well, all you gotta do is so kill 16 to... of these guys. If you play meticulously and just make sure you get all your shots off on these guys, you might get it. The problem is they ragdoll. Yeah. That is a problem. Nice. <laughs> I hate those things. And you didn't even have to do that. <laughs> the best part. You like There's that? Like you like me getting hit there? You see those? I heard you, but I'm still surrounded by lizards. Yeah, I know. Might as well just get these guys killed real quick. Oh, I couldn't get the Triforce. I mean, you still did better even though you didn't get the Triforce. That's pretty good. 
Ah, 5,000 short. Let me at least get... What, what was that? Was that 7 or 8? Yeah, it was... That yeah, was that was 7. seven. Okay. I'll try 8 again. I want to silver the first level, and then we'll take, yeah, like, I got one more crack at the boss. This definitely feels like an ocarina callback. I like how there's, like, a very slight delay for when your arrow hits those, how far you are. Thankfully, there's not any, like, uh, gravity to deal with. No. I'm surprised that shit counted. Ah. Darian looks at the game and says, Nope, disagree. He didn't deserve that. Look, look. I'll take my pride in being able to get all Platinums in this game. You can take your pride in being able to fully 100% crash for. Stop moving. Damn it. Do you think there's some dude who's just like a big fan of Cabela games? Who d had no idea what Zelda, Zelda was, but he likes this just because, yep, I like going out shooting critters. Statistically speaking, there has to be. <laughs> and I bet... I bet my uncle would have been one of them, because he loved games like Cabela's and Big Buck Hunter. Was was he, this he the one who called Dragon Ball Z shit gay? Yeah, that's, that's the same, same one. <laughs> it's it's funny because even though he said that about Dragon Ball Z, he would play stuff like Donkey Kong, like Donkey Kong Country Returns. He had Big Buck Hunter, like he had stuff on the Wii that he would play. <laughs> he 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 had some nuance to him. Here we go. All right, this this fight. Skip cutscene. Now, do I lose a uh, combo for hitting his shield? I wonder. I think so. So he gets three hits. Where are you? I knew I'd get points for that. Oh, nice. He fucking knocked his sword back. Come on. It's it's so difficult to maintain any kind of combo on this guy. Okay, so every time it's three hits. Before he, uh, he guards or reforms or whatever. God, it's like a fucking Dracula fight. Nice. Oh, he's dark. Oh, now I can just unload on him. There we go, he beat him. 7,000. Just for 1,000 points. <laughs> yeah. You have to have a combo going, but you beat him. What did I get us? 
Okay. Shy of silver by 5,000. But we saw the boss being beaten. Uh, I still haven't beaten the Stal Lord, I don't think. No, we haven't. We gotta at least do that. So let me silver this and then I'll go to... I assume if even if it's practice mode, I'll at least get to see, like, the death animation, right? Yeah. So yeah, we could probably just hit practice mode and try that. fly over here on my eagle. Nothing Wolf Link related in this. I don't know how they would even incorporate anything like that anyway. That there's not any what, anything what related? Nothing Wolf Link related. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did he keep that power? Did he just get to continue having the ability to turn into a wolf for the rest of his life after he beat Ganondorf. Actually, that'd be interesting. <laughs> Great at parties. <laughs> Fucking just randomly decides to turn into a wolf so that he can understand what the other dogs are saying. Yeah, that's marketable. You could open a you could open a, a pet talking service in town. Sir, I need to know if my dog is frustrated or not. Can you tell me? And then Lick would respond back with, Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. I can't <laughs> understand <laughs> your accent. Your accent. <laughs> yeah, give me that multiplier. Keep guarding. Nice. Uh, oh, green guy. I want to kill him. I'm going to call you Big Green. <laughs> <laughs> Let that child alone. There's no multiplayer. This level gives you bad habits. <laughs> it feels good, but at what cost? Well, if I do as good as last time. Okay, so this... Okay, yeah, you just gotta kill all the Bokoblins again. Alright, so now we know where all of them are. I don't think we've gotten a scope in another Zelda game since uh, Twilight Princess. No, nope, don't think so. Which is crazy because a scope you think would be perfect for a game like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. It's also not on a crossbow. You you get a scope for your bow and arrow. Right. I just realized Link's crossbow literally looks like a Wii Zapper. I didn't do as well this time. I, mi I missed a lot. That's okay. We did enough. Okay, no, I actually did, in fact, <laughs> No, do you better. did do better. 25,000. Enemies left. I, now pig. I just destroy Shoot stuff. the rotisserie pig. There you go. Eh, I don't think that's... No, it's over. Okay. 
Noise. All right, time to go to practice and see if we can take down that boss. All right, I gotta leave my profile to do practice. Multiplayer? <laughs> Imagine. I wonder what that's even like. Have you seen the multiplayer in this game? I it? don't remember multiplayer, honestly. I don't remember how that goes. If that's screen or what. I would imagine you're probably... You have to both be aiming at the same screen. Probably just competing for points. With the target practice levels, that's easy to do, but like with like the link levels where he's like moving around, that's the part that I'm confused about how they how they would execute that. Probably doesn't include those levels, if I had to guess. Probably. All right, show me your hands. <laughs> Give me five. I feel like I'm not going to be able to focus on comboing if I want to, uh, like, actually beat him. He is the final boss. Gotta be the toughest one of them all. Ganondorf, not, not who's that? Not a whole that? lot of room for combo. Ah. Well, did Midna bring this guy back as a favor? Link, need, Link needed a sparring opponent? <laughs> Why is this the final boss? Right? Like, I'm surprised they didn't make, like, Ganon the final boss. Like, or any of the, like, or even Zant for that matter. Uh, what's his name? King Bulbin is still kicking. He just, he just fucked off in Twilight Princess. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I respect you, Link. <laughs> he's, he's like the Gilgamesh of Zelda. And then Midden is like, holy shit, he talked. Like, was that supposed to be like a moral dilemma or something? Like, oh my god, we've been killing intelligent creatures. Oh, so you have a finite amount of time to deal with this guy. Before he's in your face permanently. Alright, lift your hands, please. He starts doing this shit. <laughs> These fucking poses, man. Uh. And it's random. You can't, like, learn it and do it consistently. Yeah. Alright, you only got one hand now, fucker. And, and because he's so seconds. close to you, his hands are so far apart as a result. Oh, God. Please. Ah! Oh. <sighs> Worst part so is, close. I don't even know if that was the end of it or not. <laughs> we had to be close. Yep, yeah, thanks. I'll patronize me. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> you gotta go so out of your way to press that button. With the, the zapper controls. Yeah. I could just eat the hit from anything that hits me. It's only a minus 100 points. Yeah, honestly. Honest, I lose more time shooting them. You lose more time and you lose your combo, so just, yeah. Do I lose my combo for getting hit? That Yeah, that's the thing that I'm worried about. I haven't, I haven't paid attention to that, if that happens or not. No, I didn't want to zoom! harder because the closer he gets, the more far apart the targets are. Yeah. And he's always right in my face by the final phase. Yep.
Fuck off, Bubbles. My least favorite Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> Ten seconds. God, it's so tight. I need to shoot his head too. Come on, hurry up. Land. Animations. Ah. <laughs> Shit. Come on, that's got to be the last phase right there. That has to be because he has to fall down, then you shoot his head. That's got to be the last phase. I just got. You just got to do it really, really tight. I can't imagine getting platinum on this. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Are you having fun yet? Why do you boys like this particular Zelda game again? Is this even a Zelda game? <laughs> it's like that, that fucking despicable me meme. Fucking, you guys actually like this? Okay, the game's over. When's the fun to start coming in? When do we get to the game? <laughs> that, that's like the only quotable I've ever gotten from Fairly Odd Parents. Maybe that and Dinkleberg, maybe. Yeah. The other. Yeah, no, you know what? That reminds me. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen the episode where uh, Timmy gets that magical microphone and he goes on the radio. He gets that like grown man voice, and that's like the one thing that I remember from the episode where he's like, Cause I'm a man, a big strong man. <laughs> that sounds familiar, but I don't remember it particularly. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one thing that I remember to this day is fucking, I'm a man, a big strong man. Piece of shit. Give me your scalp. It'll lobotomize you. Yes, nice. I got a multiplier. Well, I guess you, you you're given a free multiplier for that guy. Yeah. And there she does it. He just explodes. Why did he explode? <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you what episode of Fairly Odd Parents I didn't like growing up. You do you see that episode uh, with the uh, the the uh, the sentient motorbike? I don't think so. I pretty that much stopped episode watching creeped me shortly out before younger, because that because it was like an evil motorcycle that talked, and whenever he turned evil, he would turn into like this dragon thing. And just the way he sounded and the way he looked, just the way he was animated, just creeped me the hell out when I was younger. Not but something yeah. I would expect to get from Fairly Odd Parents. Well, yeah, there we go. Uh, that was Link's go. crossbow training. We, we, not only was it like... Do you see the hype? Do you, not only do you, was do it you a see the hype? Yeah? No. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, the, the, I'm kind of, I, this feels like a WiiWare game. I'm kind of surprised they, they printed, like, physical copies of it. Yeah. But I guess they needed to, to get the, the, the zappers the zapper. out there. Yeah. Uh... Not only was it a single stream, but we had to, like, find ways to fill the time to, like, pad it to two hours. Yeah, it was that short. We beat it in, like, an hour. We had to, like, figure out how to keep it going, so we just went for silvers. Uh, worth checking out if you like this kind of game, I suppose. Yeah. It's definitely a genre that was suited to the Wii. But, uh, we finally did it. That's it for me yep. today. I will not be streaming tomorrow, because it's going to be 97 degrees. But uh, oh boy. I'll be back on Keep Friday with man. the uh, August Smash streams. So thanks for hanging out, Darian. And yep. thank any of you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Catch y'all later.